Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 on an old HP laptop. In this particular case, an HP ProBook, Pro Book, sorry about that, 4430S. First thing that you need, it's a bootable Windows 11 installation media. Now that we have our bootable drive, plug it into the laptop. So let me quickly do that. Uh, power on the laptop and start pressing escape as mine says. And now F9 or you could directly press F9. And this should give us the boot options. Generic mass storage. Yep, good enough for me. So in theory now we are booting from the uh, the drive. USB drive that is with Windows 11 on it. While this is doing its thing, sorry about the fact that I'm basically recording the screen of a laptop and I'm not using any screen capture. Just moved into a new house and I don't have absolutely anything set up yet. Not even the house is finished as you can see. So bear with me. And we have Windows 11 set up loading. Kind of slowly because I have a really slow USB drive. And the ports on this particular model are also kind of slow. Now that we are here, press Shift and F10. On some laptops you need to press Shift, Function button and F10. Function button is FN. And usually it's uh, around uh, the space bar or Ctrl or Alt, somewhere around there. So Shift F10 open a command prompt and we need to enter a reg edit and hit enter to edit the registry we go to h key local machine system setup and in here we need to create a new key uh, called lab config so right click on setup new key and the name lab config and inside of it again right click on it new and we need a dword 32 bit value and this needs to be called bypass tpm check Press enter, double click this thing and change the value from 0 to 1. And then we create another D word. Again, 32 bit. And will be called bypass secure boot check. If I could actually make this bigger to, so you can fully see it. Change the value from uh, 0 to 1. And at this point we can close these things. And simply do our settings. Romanian, OK, all good. I need United States International and go to install now. And hopefully this will not take too long. I don't have a product key. In theory it should use uh, Windows uh, or Microsoft servers for activation after we restart the laptop when the installation is finished. Just make sure you install the same 
version like the Windows 10 license that you already have on the laptop or computer. So we are going with Pro. Yep, accept, next. Uh, in theory, maybe you can try to use this and keep your files and apps and whatnot. But at least on this, I want uh, this version. And what I want to do, let's see, delete this, okay. Delete this old partition, okay. And I seem to be a bit hungry, so sorry about weird noises and create a new partition for Windows 11. I just wanted to get rid of the old partitions and the uh, old data. So as you can see, we have the new partition. On uh, this particular partition, we have some saved data. I'm going to leave it there, don't care about it. And simply press next and the setup has begun. So now basically I'll get back to you when we get out of this uh, setup screen because now this will take a bit of time for it to to copy its files from this rather slow USB drive uh, that I'm using. It rebooted itself but it was going back into the setup menu so I simply needed to unplug this, power it off, power it on and now it's uh, into the Windows 10 uh, install menu because it has already copied from this drive whatever it needs at this particular point in time. So let it do its thing. And we are at the next step. It remembered the country, but it's double checking for it, it seems. Keyboard layout did not remember. So that's a bit annoying. United States International no second keyboard layout. Let me connect to a Wi-Fi and get back to you in a moment. We are connected. It will do some update checks now. Let's name the device. Keep in mind this is not the username, this is the name of the device itself. And at this point just wait and let it do its thing. It will take a bit of time. Okay, next. Personal use, obviously. And uh, no sign in options. I don't want to create uh, an online account, so we will be going with offline account. Yep, skip for now name i will input a name in a moment this not being my laptop uh, i will go with no for all of this although as i always say uh, for other apps and softwares everybody accepts most of these things just for microsoft nobody wants them poor microsoft And then we wait once again. It's finishing the install, so hopefully in a bit we will be booted into Windows 11. And if I, I say Windows 10 a bunch of times during this video by mistake, sorry about that. Booted fully into Windows. On this, let me check what PC it is. I don't even remember. So Control Shift Escape. Still doing lots of things in the background, obviously. Oh, come on. So it's a second gen high 5 CPU from back in the day and 6 gigs of memory. This thing uh, works a treat. At least for the moment. We will see when we install some software. So now let me check for control panel. And see. Also pin it to start. 
and see what drivers got installed. Hopefully as many of them as possible, come on. Large icons, device manager. Okay, yep. Quite a lot of them got installed. Let's see video driver. Yep, got installed. This is an uh, unintegrated GPU. Let's go with update driver. Automatically enable and now let's go to Windows update. And see what updates it needs to make because sometimes it finds uh, by itself some, some drivers. And okay, let's go with download now. And the time seems to be wrong. Let's right click it, adjust date and time. For sure it has the time zone got wrong. Yep, I was correct. It's wrong the time zone. Where's my enter key? So this is the proper time. And yeah, just realized, did Windows activate by itself or not? Let's go to personalize. And from what I see, it activated by itself. Because I can go to Teams, to desktop icon settings, and I can put in here to have computer and user files. Da 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 da. So Windows uh, 11 activated with uh, the old Windows 10 license. And now in theory it's searching for uh, for uh, drivers through Windows updates. Let's go back to Windows updates. But I don't think it will actually find them. Yeah, it's installing uh, other updates and stuff, not drivers. So what I need to do for each and every one of them, I will also link a video in the description that shows you how to do this. Uh, you go to properties on the unlisted device, details, hardware IDs, and you Google this vendor and this number and device and this number and in theory uh, on your google uh, results you will find what device this is because base system device could be anything but from this you find the device and then simply search for the driver for it and in theory any uh, driver above windows 8 including windows 8 should work also for windows 11 sometimes even the ones for windows 7 but that's not a given so for me i think i will also search on d drive because if i remember correctly we might have some drivers for windows 10 on it so i will take a look and get back to you and yes uh, we have all the drivers that were also not installed automatically by Windows 10 back in the day when I first installed it on this laptop. So it seems that same drivers uh, were not installed by Windows 11 also and uh, I will be going through them and hopefully all of these missing things right here will be gone because we are already starting to install some of them. Only one driver I don't have installed at the moment. I will also search for that and install it myself uh, using Nini T, who uh, built from 2016, 16, Jesus cannot talk today, of Nini T to install some various software that I always put on laptops that I work on. And uh, everything is working absolutely perfectly up until now. Uh, if you don't see the battery right here in the taskbar is because this laptop doesn't have a battery. It runs directly plugged in. So it's not something to do with Windows 11. It's the way it is. Probably a battery will be bought by the owner in the future. But for the moment, everything is working as it would work with Windows 10. Absolutely no issues, even though we don't have TPM, secure boot and whatnot. 
so we can bypass those yes we don't get the added security from them but we are not less secure than windows 10 was for example so yeah good enough for me from personalization taskbar and taskbar behavior we can go and put it to the left to be closer to what we were uh, used to it finished install, uh, installing even this missing driver so basically now we have all drivers fully installed everything working as expected yes i need to close this before closing this this is the driver uh, and i found it by actually let me i will take it from here and move it where i need to a bit later uh, i found it like this let's get back searched for that that i was showing you then uh, went a bit lower where it was talking on a hp forum discuss discussion on hp forum come on move and it was this link right here which i pasted in a new window saved it run it and installed and i think it's even for windows 7 and still working so <laughs> that's great and as you can see we only installed on c d drive is absolutely unaffected by the fact that we fully wiped uh, c drive and let me give it a name windows 11 continue Ta -da. so now i'm just going to let it uh, finish what it's doing in the background because a few hours after installing uh, uh, windows you might deal with uh, a bit of slowing down of the system because it's still doing update, updates and whatnot as you can see it's asking me for a restart right now presumably i will just give it to it and all should be okay okay so this thing is working perfectly the updates finished antivirus was doing a bit of a scan just a moment ago that seems to have finished also but then again these things uh, updates and uh, antivirus scans and whatnot will happen a bit more often uh, the first uh, few days after installing windows so it's perfectly normal 6 gigs, gigs of memory in my opinion is good enough for windows 11 if you can go with 8 16 oh, that's great at ssd i think it's a must uh, standard hard drives in 2021 and beyond mm, no bueno but anyway fully working windows 11 on a quite old and beat up laptop without absolutely any issues with drivers or anything else so that's about it for this video hope it helps you in which case please give it a like check out my other videos and as always see you in the next one bye